Plus Gaming Master Mario we're playing some more of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. And in the last episode, we um, got to the Isle of Songs and found uh, the first location of the Sacred Flame. And we're now going to the Water Dragon to find that Sacred Flame. But before we knew to find the Water Dragon, we got the Water Dragon Scale, which allowed us to swim underwater through the Silent Realm. And uh, yeah, now we're in Lake Floria trying to find the Water Dragon. So yeah, we're just gonna. Yeah, we actually, we actually, we're just gonna continue along this, uh, current, but yeah, we actually, um, jumped down a waterfall, and it was really cool, we had to just jump down this big waterfall, and, uh, yeah, and now it looks like we're going down a smaller waterfall, but, yeah, now we're in this, like, different area now, so let's see, what is, uh, what else is here, is, where's the water dragon? Ack, another human! Okay, okay, I just have to avoid contact and back away slowly. Alright, so let's just follow this guy. And so this is like another, you know, ocean creature. I guess it's like the replacement for the Zora. I mean, there's no Zora in this game. So there's just there's these guys instead. So that, that's who that there is. I mean, I think the, the Zora weren't even, like, you know, created yet. You know, like, they, they evolved. In, I think these guys evolved into the Zoras. This is the first Zelda game in the timeline, but okay. Quit following me, pest. If you don't move along, I'll be forced to tell Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, about your little incursion. Okay, so now he's gonna go through here. Ha ha, I didn't see that coming, did you? Yep, there's no way you're gonna be able to follow me now. So what now? Are you going to cry? If you think you can make it through, just go ahead and try. Oh, oh, really? You think that, you think that, I, you, that, that I'm not gonna be able to get in? Okay. Boom! I just rolled right in. So yeah, I figured out how to roll. Last time I last episode I didn't know how to roll. Well, you have to you know the, the moving forward button? You press that button. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah. Wait, the, wait, that's a water dragon scale. Does that make you the missionary of the goddess like the water dragon said? Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you can help her excellence. What's wrong? Or actually, you know what? No, take me to her. I don't care what's wrong. Yeah, about that. It happened really, really recently. This weirdo came in here with the gang of monsters and went right after her excellence. My lady, the water dragon, is a fierce fighter. And boy, did she gobble up most of the monsters in the first few seconds. The thing is, there were so many of them. While she was distracted, the, the weirdo leading all those creatures managed to wound her. She's healing up now, but she says we don't have enough special water for her to make a full recovery. So you, so could you please go talk with her excellence and see if you can help her? I'll even take you to her. Follow me. All right. Well, I'm. I guess. Uh, we're gonna f just follow this uh, sea creature then, and hopefully it'll take us to the water dragon. So now we have some help. We now have a direction to go to. So uh, avoid these little spiky things that will blow up on you. All right, so let's roll through this. Yeah, I love the rolling. Once you get to do the rolling, it's awesome. My only worry is air. I just need to make sure I don't run out of air. So I need to collect many air bubbles on the way. So yeah, there's plenty of air bubbles right here. Let's pick up an air bubble right now. There we go. Got an air bubble. Okay. And okay, looks like our path is blocked, actually. So we're going to have to find a way through that. And there actually is a proper way. But let's talk to this thing first. So, huh, that's weird. I was expecting to meet up with my friend here. And the path is blocked with a huge boulder. Lovely. Now what do we do? So, yeah. Uh, what we have to do is... You see these, uh, those, like, bomb guys who, like, usually, like, explode when you hit them, right? Well, those guys, when they come, when you come really close to them, they get, they have spikes on them. And then when you hit them, they won't explode. They'll just, they'll just, they'll just, they'll just, like, kind of, like, bump away or, like, you know, fly away. So if you bump into them, like, if you, like, roll right into them or spin right into them, then they'll blow up that wall. So that's how you do it to, oh, that, now that's using your noodle. Your excellence is up ahead. Okay, so there we go. Excellence is up ahead, but I want to uh, break a few more of these boulders because you can't use bombs in, in for these boulders in the water. So you've got to use, uh, yeah, the this uh, the water dragon's got to push these enemies into the wall. And okay, so yeah, now what you want to do is you just want to kind of just you know swim up and then spin, and you can actually jump in the water. It's really cool. I, I'd call you amazing, but I think we both know that the water dragon scale made this little stunt possible. Okay, <laughs> thank you for the compliment. I guess I'll take it as a compliment. I mean, it's not really a compliment, but okay. Uh, okay, okay. Now he's squeezing through the wall now. So 
you're probably wondering, okay, what do I do now? Well, you just jump over like we did before. So that's how you're going to do that. Okay, actually, I, I actually want to do something, though. Um, actually, I'm not ready to move on yet. I believe you can also find a chest here. So I want to get that chest really quickly. So let's swim up and then roll. There we go. And I believe, yeah, there's a chest here. So let's um, walk up over here. Okay, well, let's see if this choo-choo has any jelly blobs. Any jelly blobs for me? No? Okay, all right. Well, yeah, but so this chest, I believe, is going to hold a goddess plume. And this is going to be a new item we haven't gotten yet. So let's get this goddess plume. There we go. You got a goddess plume. Rumors say this item was dropped by the goddess in a long forgotten era. Forgotten era. So there we go. Few will ever behold this goddess plume. So there we go. We have a, we have a, we have a, a lot of items now. We're, we're we're getting up there. We're almost done with all our items, and then we'll just have bugs left. So yeah, bugs are gonna be much harder to find. Not so much um, items. Items you can find a little easier. But okay, let's just continue following this sea creature. I don't really know what to call it, so I'm just gonna follow this sea creature then okay actually no i gotta go back underwater then move up and then spin yes there we go there we go and oh it's a monster it's a monster yikes oh they're back that's one of the fish that that weirdo brian here to, to, to attack her excellence watch out they're as mean as they come all right let's see how mean can they get Let's go right up to him and see. How mean are you? Are you really mean or what? I'm, so yeah, you have to hit his weak spot. The X on his head, that's his weak spot. So if he charges at you, just make sure you charge at him. So he's charging at me. Now I'm going to charge at him. Yeah, take that. He's going to get charged at. And now I'm going to charge at his. Okay, he's stunned. Let's charge at his head again. When he's stunned. There we go. Got him. Got him. I hit him and he's gone now. Whoa, the god of sure knows how to pick them. You did great. Thank you, but I want to get these hearts, though. Okay, let me just get these hearts. Yeah, okay. That Move down. Down. Okay. D d why? These hearts? Why? Nintendo, why did you make these hearts so hard to get? Why is Nintendo just, like, being mean? <laughs> why? You don't need to do that. You don't need to make them that hard to get. It's not that bad. It, you can make it easy to get their hearts. Their hearts. It's fine. We're not. It's not like we're going into a big battle or anything. Just the land of the hearts. All right, anyway, so the, the the her excellence, the water dragon, is just up ahead. Hang on a second. So yeah, this is the door to the uh, water dragon. But yeah, we need a key, and these sea creatures are the key. So yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to get in without help from these guys anyway. But yeah, so luckily we had help, and now we can get to the water dragon. So there we go. The door is opening, and we can go in now. So please, come in. Thank you. Thank you for the warm welcome. All right, let's go in. Let's go in and meet the water dragon. I'm excited for the water dragon. Okay, let's swim in. And, yes, on that platform, there will be the water dragon. So yeah, let's just go up on that platform, but okay, I do see an amber relic. I mean, not bad, but amber relics are important. I mean, we have 20 of them. I mean, we are focusing on the dust relics in the silent realm, but you know, if you just see one lying around, you know, we should get it. Okay, I should get air bubbles too. Oh no, I better not drown. I better not drown. Oh no, oh no. Oh my God, we did it. Oh my God, that was so close. That was, that. if I had just been a little late, I would have ran out of air. That was lucky. Lucky Link. Yes. I'm glad I got that. All right, yeah, get that Amber Relic. It's not drowned from an Amber Relic. We already have like 20. Now we have 21. It's a lot of Amber Relics. We don't need, we, we're set for life with Amber Relics. We're finished with that. Yeah, okay. Definitely don't need any more Amber Relics. Let's, uh. Now I'll talk to the water dragon now. Ah, you there, human! You have intruded my home! There is no place for one such as you, I judge who you still stand. You will explain how you got here. I am the, I am the, yeah, I'm, I am the water dragon. Okay, okay, yes. We know you're the water dragon. We know you're the water dragon. Hmm? I say, that's one of my skills you have there, a sacred gift as that could only be carried by the goddess's chosen hero. But could you really be him? 
This raises a question, even with that scale in your possession. Finding my water, yeah, finding my place. Ah, yes, that cackling old hermit Kikwi. Yes, the, the old hermit Kikwi told us. That's how we knew how to get to you. Honestly, I can't remember how many times I've told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. That's the last, that's the last straw. Next time I see him, he's dinner. Oh, but I digress. You've come here seeking a sacred flame, haven't you? I knew it. But I'll be straight with you, a shrimpy boy like you hardly looks like part of the goddess's chosen hero, and there's no doubt about it. A test is in order to prove you're everything you say you are. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature calling himself Girahim. And yeah, we've seen Girahim many times. We've even fought him. Yeah, we fought him, but he got away. The wounds he's given me are stubborn things, and I have forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. Unfortunately, the healing properties of the sacred water have diminished, and now I am in need of another dose to freshen up my healing bath. Bring me the container of fresh sacred water that I require. Do me this favor, and I will gladly show you where to find the sacred flame you desire. What say you? You got it! I am analyzing the water remaining in this basin. Excellent. I can now help you douse for the water type you are searching for. There you go. So now we can search for sacred water. Master, do you, you do not have a container suitable for transporting water. Please prepare a vessel. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I can just probably, like, drink one of my heart potions and then have an empty bottle. If you continue down this way, you will find an exit back into the woods. Okay. Excellent. Now, run along. One does not keep a dragon waiting. Okay. <laughs> All right, I will run along. But first, before I do something, so yeah, th that's my adventure pouch, so I could uh, definitely empty out one of my heart my heart potions. But I want to show you uh, something where, where actually the, um, the the sacred flame is, but we can't get to it until, we, until the water dragon lets us in. But yeah, you'll find, like, on the map, there's still so much stuff left. So if you look over here... Yeah, you'll find this thing, and beh behind that waterfall is the next dungeon in the game where we're going to be able to um, get the Sacred Flame, but we can't get through the waterfall until the Water Dragon lets us in. But that's actually where the next dungeon in the game is, just so you know. Just thought I might point that out. But okay, now we can also check in with this bird statue, and then now we can go out. And yeah, so uh, once we go out of this area, I want to go back in because the sacred water, it's actually in the Faron region. But you're, then you're probably wondering, like, wait, well, why'd you go out then if it's in the Faron region? Well, now if I go back in, I can now teleport really easily. So I just want to be able to teleport here. So I want to go back in and I can teleport to the f to the uh, forest temple. Or, or no, sorry, the Skyview temple. Yeah. So um, in Skyview temple, you will find sacred water. So we want to go there. So go to Skyview temple. Now we can teleport there. Yes, yeah, so we save a lot of time by doing this instead of walking all the way from Floria Waterfall to, you know, uh, Skyview Temple. So that's why I wanted to just save some time there. But okay, let's walk into Skyview Temple now and just get that sacred water. So it's at the end, like after the boss and everything. But we already killed the boss. We already did all the puzzles. So it's going to be much shorter. So we won't have to do any of the puzzles. But where the boss is, where we fought Giraham, there will be some enemies there. So... Yeah, because a lot of monsters have kind of made their home here ever since we, you know, you know, um, got all the chests and, and defeated Giraham here. So I'm detecting a greater enemy present in the vicinity than previously observed. You will be wise to proceed with caution. Okay. All right, Fi. All right. Yes, I know what I am doing. Sometimes, sometimes Fi is helpful, but sometimes Fi doesn't really, isn't really the helpful. It's kind of like, you know, Adam and the Metroid series. Like, just not always that helpful. Sometimes helpful, sometimes not what i feel i can kind of compare adam from metroid and with with Fi from zelda well hold it you're that guy that guy i met in the volcano here to do some treasure hunting too yep i called it you got treasure hunter written all over your face did the big stone guy out there tip you off to the loot too stone guy yeah, what do you say again? Stromacore, the most beautiful in the place within the temple where the butterflies dance. So I get here and I and I let loose with some of the most gorgeous humming I've done in my entire life. But seeing how I've come this far, there's no chance I'm never. Okay, so yeah, he didn't know that he needs like a harp. He needs the goddess harp. He he can't do humming. You can't hum. You've gotta have the goddess harp. But I have it. You don't. So you can't do any treasure hunting here. Sorry about that. Yeah, you can't do anything here. Sorry. Don't go and do any treasure hunting in Skyview Temple if you want treasure. 
It's not gonna work out that way. Okay, oh no, I lost my stamina. Oh no, my stamina, oh no. Oh, okay, no, that I actually could have dodged. I don't know why I didn't dodge that. That's uh, definitely something I could have dodged. Oh well. Uh, okay, I think we go through here, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to remember where, th there's one room where there's like four different entrances. I'm just trying to get to that room where there's four different entrances. Uh, that, yeah, then I know where I'm going. Okay. Th this, this spider is just swinging around. He's going on a swing. He's like swinging around trying to hit me. It's not nice. Don't swing around. That's mean. Don't do that. Oh, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay, spider. You're gonna pay. All right, turn around, turn around, turn around. Uh, okay, fine, you're not gonna let me defeat you? Fine, I don't need to fight you. I can just go through here. I've already done all the puzzles to get through this. All I need to do is get to the end of the dungeon and fight some enemies there because they're gonna stop me from getting the sacred water behind the boss door or, or uh, after the boss ar arena. So I, all, all I've gotta do is fight some enemies. Everything else I can ignore. Well, actually I can't ignore because the because yeah, the door th that's gonna take us to the boss is uh, locked again, or the door that's gonna keep us, you know, moving along Skyview Temple is now blocked. So yeah, w we did have a key and we did open it, but that was a long time ago. Now another locked door. Now that door is once again locked again. So it's not it's not unlocked anymore. It's now relocked itself, I guess. And so now we've got to find another key. So yeah, this guy's saying he, he could have sworn he, he buried a key somewhere. So he buried, buried it right here, somewhere around here. So let's try and find that that place where he buried the key because that could be our way to move along in Skyview Temple. So we've got to be able to find that. we just got to look around. And yeah, the hint is you've got to go underwater. You've got to go underwater to find that. You can't find it just on land. It's going to be underwater. So we've got to do... So we've got to go underwater, and we couldn't do this before because we didn't have the water dragon scale. But now we can swim underwater using the water dragon scale. So that's the benefit of having the water dragon scale. We can now solve a lot of more problems. With like, you know, now we can go underwater and stuff. So yeah, after we left Skyview Temple, it wasn't the last time we're going back. And yeah, if you go up here, yes, you'll find this. And you might have remembered... Uh, when we first went to Skyview Temple and we found this hole, I'm like, yeah, we can do something with this hole later in the game. Well, guess what? It's later in the game! And now we can dig that up! And, cause we have the digging mitts, so... Yeah, we have the digging mitts and the water dragon seal. With those two items, we're now able to get a small key. And now we can now proceed through Skyview Temple, so... Luckily, we had the Water Dragon scale, or otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get into there. Or th or we also wouldn't have been able to meet the Water Dragon either, but, you know, we wouldn't have been able to get through the Skyview Temple second time around either. But okay, let's open up, let's open up this uh, door here. And now, let's take out this monster here. I think you have to hit, you have to hit all those three heads off, right? Yeah. Gotta hit all three, all three. There we go, all three are off. Okay. Um, and now, where's? I think we just keep. I j we just keep on going forward, right? We just like. I think we just. Go, yeah, I think we just travel to the boss door. I don't think we really have to do anything, cause like I said, we already did the puzzle. So, I think we just. Do we just go? I mean, we just go until. Yeah, we just go forward. Yeah, that's all we have to do. So we'll just go forward. All right, so we're almost where the boss door is. I mean, we already defeated the boss, but of course, there's going to be some other stuff there to do. And okay, so yeah, there's the boss, so we have to ra you have we have to walk along this tight rope. But I'm not doing that with archers trying to shoot me down, so I've got to get them off. So I'm going to have to take out my beetle. I think there's going to be, like, bombs here, right? Okay, but they're shooting! They're shooting my beetle! I can't even use my beetle. Oh my god, they're shooting me now. I mean, I'm trying to use my beetle. Do you see that bomb over there? I'm trying to get that bomb over there but it keeps on bouncing into this mushroom <laughs> and they keep on hitting me I'm, I'm almost dead all right i gotta drink this heart potion that's good anyway because i was already going to like have to empty that heart potion so it's a good thing i got to put that to use i um, mean now okay let's not get shot down by these guys please don't get shot by the archers this is extremely annoying how they do that no they keep on shooting my beetle oh my god I'm hiding behind this mushroom thing. First of all, it's bouncing into the mushroom and not get, being able to move. And it's getting shot down by these guys. Just pick up the bomb and blow them. Okay, there we go. I blew one of them up. And we gotta get the other one now. Other one. Boom. Blow them up. There we go. Now we can walk along the tightrope. 
finally. Sheesh, I, I dig some serious smiles to get my paws on treasure. I think some no good thief beat me to the goods. Well, who would come all the way? I'll come all this way for water. I'm cutting my losses and heading home. See ya. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> You're, I, I warned you many times. Well, I didn't actually warn you. I mean, in my head, I warned you. But, you know, you, you really shouldn't uh, go to temples. <laughs> These, uh, you know, dungeon temples where the, the hero is, like, trying to accomplish tasks. Because you're not going to find many riches there. You need special items like I do. You're not going to find any treasure. I mean, there is some treasure, like, buried in holes. I mean, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. He should have found something. I mean, there, there is some treasure you can get without... Um, you know, like get you know, like getting any special items. I mean, I guess I got most of it in all the chests when I went here the first time. That's also probably part of it. But okay, so yeah, this is the same place we fought uh, Demon Lord Girahim, and then we were also able to meet Zelda at the end of this. Well, we didn't meet Zelda, but but like we got to get a heart and we almost found Zelda. But yeah, here, yeah, other enemies have made their home here, and yeah, we're gonna find three Stalfos. And, uh, yeah, this is really, uh, gonna be a big battle because this is the first time we're fighting three Stalfos. Because we, we did fight one Stalfos in, 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 like, uh, the middle of Skyview Temple. It was, like, one of the mini-bosses, but this is three Stalfos. And you've gotta be really precise with your attacks. Now, you could just parry their attacks and then hit them a bunch of times, but they're three. And chances are you're gonna get hit a lot. And so I could, I could try to cheat and do, like, a special tactic where I, like, throw bombs at them and blow them up. Or something, or do like skyward strikes on them, or I could go in and try to hit them the real way. I mean, the the, the worst part about it is how you have to angle your attacks in the right place. Like you see how the you see the way they're holding up their swords. So you've got to attack them. See where their swords are not. Like where, like if they're holding it like horizontally, you got to hit them horizontally. If they're holding it vertically, you got to hit them. Uh, I mean, if they're yeah, you got to hit them vertically. You know, like the like um. We've got to get it in the space where they're not where they're not protected, right? Because if it's, they're vertical, you can't hit them horizontal. If it's horizontal, you can't hit them vertical. So, yeah, it's, it's got to be very precise. So I just find that kind of to be tough. So I might just blow them up and then maybe just get some damage on them, then do some skyward strikes. And then maybe, I, like, that, if I'm down to the last one, I might, like, you know, do the real one like, where I parry their attacks. Like that. There we go. See, I killed that guy now. So there we go. Now we got one. Come on, we got to... Gotta get these guys now. Just two of them left. I could parry them. I could attack them the right way, but I, I want to kill one of them. Then I'll, I'll kill I'll kill one of them, and then when it's down to the last one, I'll I'll just like kill them the right way. I'll make that deal with you guys. I'll make that deal. That I'll kill them the right way when I'm down to the last one. Just gotta kill this other guy, or one of them. One of them's gonna die. Come on, come on, come on! Somebody go down. Someone's got to go down. Okay. Just so you know, I've used a few of these of, of, the, of the hearts in these barrels. Because you see there's like barrels all over the place. Yeah, they have hearts or bombs and stuff in them. So I've used some of those barrels just so you know. But I haven't actually used my heart potions or anything like that, luckily. And there we go. There's only one more remains. I killed the second one. And now I'm going to fight this guy for real. All right, come on. Attack me. Attack me. Do your best attack. Do your best attack on me. I'm gonna parry you. Ha! Take that! I hit your arms off and now I destroyed you. Ha! Take that! Take that, Stalfos! Take that! Ha! You have been defeated! And now I will run through these doors and I have made it to the spring. Hooray! I detect sacred water nearby. There are no monsters, uh, no, no monster auras causing inter interfering with the uh, dousing for sacred water. So yeah, and now what you want to do is I think it's like the sacred water is near these fairies. So when you go near the fairies, now scoop water out of the waterfall and you'll get sacred water. Just right out of the waterfall, scoop it up, and you got some sacred water. So now let's travel back to the water dragon, give the water dragon the sacred water, and then we'll... Be able to get to the next dungeon in the game and get the um, Sacred Flame. So I'm excited for that. So there is a 95% probability that the water here is identical to the water within the Water Dragon's base. And I suggest we take it back to her. Okay. Alright, so yeah, that's what we're going to do then. Exciting. 
So, yeah, I think we'll probably return to the sky and then go to Lake Floria because I'm going to use my method again where I go back to the sky and then I go back into the area and then teleport to, uh, the, you know, the place where I can teleport because I don't want to have to waste too much time walking there. That would take way too long. So just as soon as I maybe collect some of these items here, I'll, uh, yeah, get back. I'll get to the Lake Floria by going back to the sky and then going back down. So, yeah, there we go. So now we've got to go back up to the sky. But then immediately back into the Pharaon region. So let's go right back. And then we can drop down. We can drop right down the, um, yeah, the, uh, the, the, the hole in the sky. <laughs> the hole in the clouds. So, okay, I guess it's just Lake Floria, right? Lake Floria, yeah. Or Floria, Wa no, no, not Floria, Waterfall, Lake Floria, yeah. So there we are. So this is the, looks like they're warping us back to the place where we first, um, Got the goddess plume. Where we got, remember when we got that goddess plume? Oh, yeah, so it looks like they're uh, warping us back to there. So, I mean, it's not it's not going to take too long. I mean, I was hoping that for them to warp me, like, right near that, right, like, I mean, kind of closer to the water dragon, but it's fine. We'll just get over to the water dragon. There we go. And, yes, that looks just like the color. There's no doubt that this is the water I need. Yes. So, there we go. We're going to give the water dragon the sacred water. And now the water dragon is... Water dragon is healed. Yes, and that's how the water dragon really looks. It looks much different in the basin. Yeah, now it's, now it looks much more intimidating. So behold, the full majest, majesty of Pharaoh, water dragon, and guardian of these lands. Human, you have done well to bring me the sacred water I asked for you. I see now it was no coincidence that you completed the goddess's tri trial and obtained a water dragon scale. In return, I will grant you the favor you have asked of me and lead you to the sacred flame of my land. Come! So yeah, we're going to this waterfall, and yeah, that now the water dragon's going to let us in. Now, behold! Ha, hmm! And just like that, the next dungeon in the game, or next temple in the game if you prefer, yeah, the next temple in the game is right here. The Ancient Cistern. So yeah, we're going to be taking that on the next episode. Go, the sacred flame you seek lies within this palace. While the waterfall has bared entrance to this place for many years, monsters have still found a way in and inside they flourish. Ah, but you are the goddess's chosen hero. Sweating a few monsters will be no trouble for you. And I imagine you will cross paths until and uh, I am... Okay, farewell, boy. Okay. Alright, bye, water dragon. Bye. Okay, well, let's save now. So, um, yeah, but for now, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please press like. If you love the video, you can subscribe so you can see more of my videos and get notified every time I upload a video if we turn on notifications. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later in the next one. Um, and yeah, in the next one, we're, we're going to be getting the uh, to, to the ancient cistern and getting the sacred flame. And I might split that into two episodes. I'm not sure because this episode and the last episode were actually two episodes. And I split them. So I might split the next episode, but I'm not sure. But for now, I'll see you later in the next one.